Okay, so I goofed. I attach these guys too high, so when I sit on the seat, instead of this being a nice, comfortable foot position, it's too high. So I took a good look at the drawing. I can bring them down almost of their own full width. So I have this clamped in place so it is now level, and I am going to mark from behind. I'm going to get the angle that matches exactly from here. I'm going to take that and cut it and get it to fit then I'm going to go ahead and shape it after that. So this is a little bit of a good news, bad news situation. So the good news is I now have foot rests where I want them. It seats very comfortably. But the bad news is there's holes in those leg parts that I put so much time and effort into. So there's great big Forstner bit holes on the outside. And then there's smaller through holes from the smaller drill bit on the inside. And I definitely don't want to start over on those parts and I'd rather fix them. So I start by cutting plugs that match the size of the Forstner bit holes using a plug cutter and exactly matching lumber from the cutoffs. And then I take those and release them from the blank at the bandsaw. Putting glue in the hole and then onto each of the plugs. And then being very careful to try to orient the grain direction to match that of the part they're going into. The plugs get pounded into place so they fit nice and snug and there's no air gaps. Again, making sure that the grain direction is in alignment. Even though there's a lot of shaping yet to come, I trim these flush with the part using shear cuts uh, with a nice sharp chisel. Here I'm again using matching lumber and a smaller plug cutter, creating plugs to fill the smaller holes on the insides of those legs where the drill bit was used to make the through holes where the screw shank was going to go rather than the head for the plug to cover it. I use a Forstner bit in those smaller holes to get them to match the plugs that are going to fill them. Different size holes but the same drill. So some glue into the holes, some glue onto the plugs, and then paying attention to the grain direction. Those get placed in place. Uh, they have a little bit of taper in them, so pounding them in place will give you a nice snug fit uh, at the outside edge. Here I'm using a flush trim saw to take off the excess material once the glue's been dried. And then a little bit of sanding and shaping over top of those at the oscillating sander. I have an almost invisible repair that no one would even know about unless somebody made a YouTube video and told everybody, I guess. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it.